Hey guys, thanks for watching. This video is kind of a follow-up to my video about a DIY sail canoe where I just created a, a tripod mast and some metal conduit pipes and a plastic drop cloth and, and made a little sail. And then in this video I add the wooden parts to it. That is the tiller, the rudder, and the lee boards. Um, the first maybe eight or nine minutes of this video is, is me getting it set up and giving a little tour of the system and then the rest of the video which you do not need to watch unless you're just curious is about me figuring out how to do it just making it up as I go along so you'll see me make some mistakes and try some other things and change my plans often so not to tell you this is how anybody should do it but this is just how I did it and hopefully you'll learn from it and um, or maybe give me some suggestions about uh, other designs you've got so the basic idea was to just have something I could set up pretty easily take down pretty easily um, nothing that's permanently attached to the boat and I'm pretty pleased with it so far so I hope you enjoy
Now, here's the idea I'm going for. Yes, I'm an excellent drawer. So, all right, this is my canoe. I've got the rudder, the lee boards, and the tripod mast. So I've already built this. There's a metal tripod, and then this long thing, I think this is called a yard, I don't remember. This is, you know, the, the long part that the sail's suspended for, and my sail sheet is here. And then all the rigging will be led here to center. So pulley system, I'll have a pulley here at the front, you know, just tighten up the sail, bring it back. This one in the middle, I'll anchor it down there. Uh, sorry, the one at the back here. So that's the sail system, which is the most important part of, of any sailing rig. But I need to create some lee boards so I can keep the canoe on track, right? Because it's a flat bottom boat. It'll just get pushed to where the wind is. If I really want to sail properly, I need to be able to, to have something to, to um, you know, keep me moving in the right direction. And then a rudder which I'm gonna to have to figure out how to build as well. I think this will be fairly simple. My rudder will basically look like one of my lee boards, except you'll just be able to move it from, from the tiller here. So this is what I'm working on today. Um, mostly the lee board. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna set these up, but that's the idea. I was thinking about having a hinge and having them flap, you know, kind of wings. But now I'm thinking about going towards this idea where I'll have a, um, a lee board that can just pivot up or down. That's a pretty typical way. This was, I was thinking about, you know, maybe I could add some oar lock so I could row my canoe too, but I don't really want my rod sticking out this far. So I'll save that for another build. Um, so this is what I'm working on, is a platform to go across and then the lee boards that attach to that. And I'll also want to include some cleats and, you know, things like that so I can, secure all my lines from here. That way, if I'm sitting in this back seat, I've got the tiller and my lines should be all together. And I wanna be able to take it off, remove it easily. Uh, we know if I have some rapids or something or whatever it is, just to make it easy to use. So we'll see. What is this? Oh, that was just me thinking out loud. Here are my parts. I think I'm basically done. I just kind of got tired of messing around with them. So I'm gonna leave them like they are. I've got my um, Lee board mounting board here with the two pegs on the end that have been screwed in. I ground it down, grinded down the screws a little bit so that way they're not sticking out too much. These are just the little stoppers that will go on the end here. My two Lee boards ugh, with the pegs there to keep them from um, swiveling out of position. I'm hoping that's all I need. And I have my tiller with the rudder which actually seems to move surprisingly well and that's all one piece unfortunately i was hoping to be able to get it down but that is going to be impossible to move and then my mount my swivel mount for the tiller itself that will go in that hole right there i ended up using my hole saw to drill these holes i thought they would be neater but spade bit probably would work too i don't even know what size it is like an inch, a little over an inch, but these are just for, for mounting to the canoe, so I really could have done anything. I could have just made a little, you know, V-notch with a saw or whatever. I'm going to make a couple channels here with my skill saw, see if that helps. I'm going to go ahead and get my skill saw and cut that off. So now I've got to cut down the length. I've got little notches or channels for the, the string or line, whatever's going to mount it down. So now I'm gonna attach some rigging devices, some cleats, some cam cleats. Uh, I've got a couple things I still have to order. And maybe I'll make like a drink holder, drill some holes in here. But basically, this is just gonna sit somewhere on the boat. I don't know where. That's why I've got different options to mount it, depending on if it's here, from this loop to that loop. Or maybe I want it to go further towards the, the stern, in which case I might need to use this loop here or maybe I could go across between two loops we'll see but I just want to have some options there I got how to do this lead board I might go ahead and use my my leftover plank from this one use this for the um, for the lead board which won't be too big of a deal and I'll just shape it up make it look nice and, and it'll match 
it'll match this part better too anyways. Got my about five foot long plank here and I've decided to cut it in the middle at an angle. That way each of my sections will be about three foot at the narrow part, which give me a little bit more length off of this. Should be plenty. Should give me about a foot and a half in the water on each side. And hopefully that'll do. those lee boards and looks like they're gonna be okay I just um, gave it a curve on the end with my skill saw and then with my angle grinder I uh, gave it a little bit of a, a shaping to it um, so I'll sand it down real good in a second and then put a coat of something on it when I figure that out but I'll do that at the end this one over here had a little bit of a chip come out so I glued it back in there and I'll sand it down good. So I went ahead and filled in a couple of these other ones too. When I get around to making my rudder, which will be the next thing, I'll probably make it the exact same way as this. In fact, one of these could very easily be my rudder just to have it, you know, behind and attach it. You can swing it this way, that way. So I could use this one as a lead board and just change it from side to side the other as a rudder but yeah it'll be really easy to make a rudder if i do it the same kind of way so in fact i think that'll be a way less complex project than in the lee board setup here uh looks like my my glue is doing pretty well it's only been on there a couple hours but it's holding strong so i might put a screw or two in here pre-drill and get a long screw in two screws maybe uh that way i've got a little bit more but I really don't think wood glue will be a problem. The next step will be figuring out how to secure the the lee board to the joint here, the axle, because I'm just making this up as I go. All right, so this is an idea of what the lee boards look like so far, what they will look like. So they'll just hang down from the middle there somewhere, and I'll mount this to the gunnel, probably using some of my gear loops, just run through and back down here. So just over the top, tighten it down. Now what I haven't decided yet is how to secure this in place. I might do a little pin or block of wood on here so it'll lock it from going forward or from backward, excuse me. And then another one, which will hold it up when you rotate it up and out of the way. So, got the sail which goes up there in the front the boards which are close just a couple more things to add I also probably need to this is just glued but I think I might put a couple screws through here for some added support because I'm not sure how long that's gonna hold and I'm working on my rudder now which will hang off the back in really the same way that the uh, the lee boards do and when I say hang I mean it'll be sturdy and then I need a tiller for it, a handle, and then the place for it to pivot. So really, the handle, the tiller, and the rudder, and then something to mount it to. And here's what I'm using for my rudder right now. It's basically, hopefully, going to look the same as the um, as the lee boards, more or less. But I didn't have one long scrap of wood. I didn't have anything good left. So I'm just going to glue these three together and grind them all down. And should look okay. So that will... You know, that'll be coming off the back there. And then those tillers on the side. That should, oh, sorry, the lead boards on the side. That should work. The goal is to have 
the the entire system be pretty modular so i can take it apart dismantle it it doesn't take up room but uh but to be sturdy enough that you can actually use it so i'm going to get grinding this down the glue should be dry and figure out how i'm going to do my tiller and mounting board i'm going to try to use this piece of ripped down two by four for the tiller handle the tiller sorry i shouldn't call it tiller handle the tiller but it's really uh where's my camera there we go really warped in two directions so i'm gonna see uh if i can redeem it at all i try to straighten it out and taper it down some i don't know well here's the same tiller now i shaved off a bit on this side and this side to try to get a little bit more square and actually did a pretty good job and that's also going to taper the end down where where i'll hold it now this side still has quite a curve in it so here's that tiller with a little bit of shaping from my grinder. You can see it's got a little bit of a natural curve to it, but I actually think that might work to my advantage. And uh, I did all that grinding down with my 40 grit flap disc wheel on my Harper Freight grinder. So it's been working pretty well. It's been an invaluable tool. Okay, this might not work at all, but I'm gonna try to turn this into my rudder. So I'm actually not going to um, carve the shape too much because I, I mostly like this shape for the rudder, you know, just a rectangle. And then I'll taper out this end and then this will be a wider one. So what you see here is, that's my wide point. So from on this side, there'll be a, a really, you know, round bend. This one will be more gradually tapered. Now I've gone around the entire perimeter and made a middle line. That way I can try to grind it evenly from each side. So I'll have a taper from here to here. So I'll round up this corner and I don't want to, um, you know, delete either of my pencil lines here. That way I can make this corner round. And then up again, I wanna taper all this and not delete that uh, pencil line. So this is mostly by feel, but just a rough guideline. That's how I was able to get these fairly straight. My, uh, what do you call that, the lead board. I just made sure it didn't go over the pencil line and then at the end I just sanded it smooth so hopefully it'll work uh, the other problem I noticed with my rudder here besides the fact that it's ugly and the glue probably won't hold is it's got a little bit of a curve to it so I might naturally curve the one side but whatever Let's see if it works the goal is to just use scrap wood for this so every wood I have here is just scrap from from my pile back here and uh we'll see we'll see if we can make some good of it so here's a rough shaping of first side here i've uh got this corner a little bit round this one's a little bit more tapered it already looks better I didn't get this yet because I want to leave my line there. So I'll get this at the end, clean it up a little bit. It's a pretty little knot. So now I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing with this side. All right, second side done. It's starting to look like a rub. You can see the tape on the bottom a little bit. And that's the wide side and that's the more narrow side. I need to taper it down, so that's just going to be a lot of grinding. In fact, maybe I don't want to taper it too much, just because I'm lazy. I need to clean it up a little, finish this. This side, which the wood was pretty rough on anyway, I just need to make this whole side kind of go down a little bit more evenly. Pretty clean up the top here. And again, so far all I've been using is just my little grinder here. It's starting to look pretty good. Um, you know, it's kind of ugly, but we'll have to do. I think it'll get the job done. Uh, I decide I'm going to just take up this corner here, give it a little bit more of a pleasing shape, and round the top off a little. Okay, it's basically, basically ready. Just look at that curve. Oof. Definitely gonna be turning to one side or the other. It'll be fine. It's just a canoe sail. All 
this board i'll cut it down make some more holes in it for to secure it like i do with my control board up there and this will be mounted right here and then my tiller will have a dowel Ugh. i'll put one of these in there make a little axle so the tiller can, can pivot at this spot and then that's somewhere i don't know exactly how far i'll have to look at that A rudder will be off the back here okay so so that's the idea I'm looking for well that was dumb I used my spade bit instead of my hole saw and I really beat up this entire piece of wood chipped out everything when I did it so so I think it will probably still be okay you know for its purposes but uh actually now i'm looking at it i don't know we'll, we'll experiment well i ended up sanding it down a little trying to make the sides look even so at least it's symmetric now um looks kind of cool hopefully it'll still do the job i wanted a little bit more of a curve on the edges to keep it in place but this will probably work if i uh if i mount it right from here down into this loop under here and this side under here we'll find out so then i'll drill a hole probably right where that knot is and figure out how to attach the tiller to it well i went ahead and put the the hole where the knot was which wasn't perfectly centered but it's good enough considering that the uh the rudder isn't straight anyway i'm just gonna put the dowel in there glued this dowel in here make it a little bit of a pin. So here's where I am so far. I've got my tiller here. Get a good look at the tiller there, Antonio. Now, um, what I've done is I've mounted two pieces of pine on the edge, and what will happen is the rudder will fit in here, and I'll drill a hole through here, a pin of some kind, whether it's a dowel or a screw or a bolt, and I'll have to find a way to secure it where, well, it's not tall enough now, where it's in the downright position, and where it can also flip up. So the tiller's looking good. I've already shown you the, the mounting point where the pin is where it'll pivot in there. So I've got these three components to the, to the tiller right now, and I want them all to be removable, make this whole system modular where you can take it all down, throw it in the canoe or whatever it is. Now, come on here. Here's what I'm looking at doing with my lee boards to find a way to secure them in place. So I need to be able to pivot it up and down depending on the situation I'm in. Uh, but I don't want to have too complex of rigging or strings and ropes going everywhere. So what I'm thinking is When I'm going forwards, then it will have a tendency to want to bend back So all I need is a block right here To keep it from going back. It'll stop there. So I don't need to hold it in place I don't think so. We'll find out but just having a block there should do the trick now and so what I've done is I've marked a line where that 90 degree straight up and down is then when you need to go into not sailing mode when you want your lee board up I've found that I think rotating this all the way back 270 degrees is going to be the way to do it and I've gone ahead and marked another spot right here where I would put a block to keep it from going further so a block here and here you got those marks there Antonio will mm -hmm keep this thing rotating to from this position down to this position and uh and when i have it there it shouldn't move around so when it's sitting here you know it might wobble a little bit or something if i go on a bump but it's not gonna flip all the way back down i think that'll probably do the trick i'll just need to make another little notch somewhere so the uh the things can rotate through anyway that's the idea a little rainy today so i'm in here in the shop so my lead boards, I had planned on making some blocks here, and I actually had them blocked in. Um, just a piece of glue to hold uh, one of these little blocks in place to uh, stop the board from pivoting. So it gave about 270 degrees, but I decided the blocks I didn't like as much. So I'm actually going to drill in and put a dowel through each of these, which I think... I mean, I think it'll look okay. 
So that's what I'm going to do right now. And really what I need is this line here. That's the line I need it to stop in. So I just need to make sure my bit comes out around there. And obviously it doesn't matter if it's exact or not because, I mean, it's just a dumb canoe thing. Okay, I've ended up making markings for each of these just because I think it'll be a little bit more accurate. So I've got a 5 8 dowel, so I'm going to go 5 16 up from this line that I want to stop on. So if I center it right there, then it should kind of be right on that edge. And uh, so down here, down here, and then down here and here. There's the rough cut. Let's try it out. Let's cut down this dowel, make little pieces out of it, and put it together. Okay, let's sand them down. I don't really trust this wood glue to hold, so I'm going to reinforce with two screws here, two screws here, and also on my tiller, get some screws here on this side and on this side. Okay, now I need to get my rudder here to fit inside this, right? with a dowel going through. So, cut the dowel length and drill a hole here and down here and try to get them all to line up. Well, this is what I came up with. I was hoping that um, it would be removable, but these holes actually ended up being a pretty tight fit and I've got this dowel all the way through, so it took a lot of hammering to get that in there. But it actually looks like it's gonna work fine. Oh my, I didn't even notice that one though. Yikes, I hammered that pretty hard. Huh. Hopefully it'll still hold. So, um, yeah, it turns, pivots. So now I'll just have to have a way to kind of keep it in place. Here are my parts. I think I'm basically done. I just kind of got tired of messing around with them, so I'm gonna leave them like they are. I've got my um, Lee board mounting board here with the two pegs on the end that have been screwed in. I ground it down, grinded down the screws a little bit so that way they're not sticking out too much. These are just the little stoppers that will go on the end here. My two Lee boards ugh, with the pegs there to keep them from um, swiveling out of position. I'm hoping that's all I need. And I have my tiller with the rudder, which actually seems to move surprisingly well. And that's all one piece, unfortunately. I was hoping to be able to get it down, but that is going to be impossible to move. And then my mount, my swivel mount for the tiller itself, that will go in that hole right there. Okay, I got them all um, teak oiled up. Some of them look okay. The the lead boards here look pretty sweet. Got some nice lines and grains on them. Even the rudder, it's kind of a neat look to it. This piece across the middle is fairly ugly, as is the tiller. But, I don't know. It'll be fine. 